Chateau St. Michel is a 2019. We're tasting it against the 2021 Halleck Vineyard. The AVA from uh, Chateau St. Michel is Columbia. And uh, we're, of course, Russian River Valley. And the specification, um, the alcohol on the uh, Chateau St. Michel is 12 and a half percent and Halleck Vineyard, uh, because it's so dry, is 14.3%. So we're starting with the uh, Chateau St. Michel. Uh, it's up in Washington. What do you Ooh. think? It smells orangey. Smells like orange to me. Mm, like um, there's, a, there's the hint, the classic hint of petrol, which is what, you know, that's a, that's a classic... Uh, uh, Gewürztraminer note, uh, but this really overrides with um, with orange. Yeah, there's a little floral aspect, maybe like an mm -hmm. orange blossom, but still distinctly orange. Yeah, it's it's very very orange. Hmm. Let's give it a taste. Ooh, still very orangey. Still very orangey. There's a hint of sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. It's got kind of a creamsicle um, yeah. character, like a, an orange creamsicle. I think the acidity could be a touch higher. Um, the, the sugar level I like though, because it's just a touch. It's not heavy handed. And sometimes, you know, it winds at this price point because this is what again? Like $15 uh, a day? Yeah, this $15. Yeah, sometimes they can overdo it with the sugar. Yeah, so this is this is nicely balanced in that <laughs> regard. It's 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 definitely not heavy handed. Uh, it's 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 nicely balanced as as a wine in general. Mm -hmm. Um again, uh, if 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 you're you're seeking that kind of uh flavor profile, it's um it's, there's nothing unpleasant about it. This would also be a good cocktail pop wine, or um, what would you pair it with? Well, I, I think it was your idea, fruit salad. Oh, yes, that's yeah. true. I mean, it's like if you're having a fruit salad, this just adds the orange. They would be good with any sort of picnic food, I think. Mm -hmm. So let's jump over to the Halleck Vineyard. Now, this is a much more classic, uh, I would say, Alsatian style, Gewürztraminer. Uh, we like to think of ourselves as new world winemakers with old world style. And this one certainly leans towards an Alsatian style, an AOC uh, Gewürztraminer. The co color is quite similar between the two. It looks like, I don't know what we should call that, like white gold maybe? Yeah, yeah, it's definitely uh, luminescent and, and, and clear. Wow, what a different nose. Yeah. So this, this leads with uh, the rose petals and lychee. I smell uh, honeysuckle. Mm -hmm. There's yeah. kind of a that floral aspect, but there's also it smells like sugar. Yeah, there's there's a sweetness to the to the aroma, and uh, as the alcohol would would indicate, there's there's n no sugar in this wine. It's entirely uh, fermented, so it's it's bone dry. Let's give it a taste. Wow, the first thing I notice is how how much more. Um, acidic this is, how much more balanced it is. So this is bright acidity. This is a food wine, absolutely a food wine. It's it's thin and crisp like you would hope for a, for, for a reverse meaner, but um, it's got a real complex set of flavors. Yeah, the beautiful rose, um, I get the lychee again. Mm -hmm. There's some sort of um, spicy thing that I can't mm -hmm. quite name. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I certainly uh, taste some ginger. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, as as you were mentioning earlier, it's sort of a um, a candy ginger, but there's no sugar in it, so it's there, there, there's just a gingery um, and spiciness to it. Mm. So, what's the pairing for this one, Rose? Well, um, this you know there are three classic pairings with this. I mean, there's many pairings with, but Indian curry. I mean, there's nothing better uh, as a condiment. Uh, if you've got some chutneys on the table, uh, a raita. Um, a mango chutney, maybe a mint chutney, and a, a glass of this is just the, the perfect Indian meal. Well, awesome. Well, I think that's it for this video. But uh, if you're enjoying these, please like and subscribe. 